Hi, in this video we are going to talk about um, creating a multi-page web application linking to a Microsoft SQL server database. This is a list of suggestions how you should use this video. The notes for this video can be found here and it is loaded here. Okay, and we are doing example 002. So to, before we move on, we need to create a login for, okay, in the last video we created a database. In this video, we are going to create a login for the web application to access the database. Obviously, we cannot use the super user password, uh, super user login and password. So we are going to create a login called web user and we are going to create a password called my pass okay this is a very bad password okay but we are doing it for um, just for exercise so that is okay but if you are going to build a real application you should use a stronger password all right the first thing we need to do is we want to launch the services and make sure your SQL server is running okay next let us go into the management studio SQL Server Management Studio. We need to log in using the super user password SA and using the uh, super user login password, super user login SA, and using the password root pass. So let's use root pass. And the next thing we are going to do is to create a user. So let us go to security. Right click on security, right click new, login. And we are going to use SQL Server authentication. The login name is web underscore user which is here and password is my pass so my pass my pass we do not want to enforce the password policy okay because that means password will expire and everything um, in this exercise I we just don't want to go back and change password and find out what's wrong um, why my web application cannot connect to the database so we are we are just not doing this right now okay all right so let's create quickly create this and later we are going to look at user mapping okay we can do user mapping here but let's create this first oh default database is Kung Fu Panda shop not master okay change the default database to go for panda shop do not enforce password policy okay so now here in the login you have a um, web user login being created for you all right and we want to do some user mapping for this user to access the database so right click on it and um, look at properties okay this is the same screen that we did but that we used just now okay and then look at user mapping and choose um, go for panda shop okay and um, you want this guy to, you want this user to be a database reader data reader and data writer okay you don't want other things okay all right so, okay all right so you have created a the um, user you have um, chose the database you have done the user mapping so you're good for now okay all right that's a good place to stop so um, okay that's a good place to stop for um, for this so let's um, close the SQL management studio and in the next video we are going to carry on um, working on the application thanks for watching bye